Super excited to visit right now with a very funny comedian, Mr. Dan Bublitz Jr. He is also one of the founders of Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Dan, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. How are you, John? I am great. I tell people all the time. I've known Dan since he was a little boy. We both grew up in the same town, not too far from each other, really. And I yeah, was so excited. Much same neighborhood. I was so excited when when uh, you guys a couple of years back said, "Hey, we got this idea for the Snow Jam Comedy Festival," and it's just been really fun to see what this has become. But for somebody who maybe has never heard of this, they don't know anything about it. Explain what is Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Well, Snow Jam Comedy Festival is an annual comedy festival that takes place right here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It was uh, it kind of stems from a joke that somebody made on social media. Uh, we thought you know they made a joke about wanting to do a comedy festival at the worst time of the year in South Dakota. <laughs> and I thought that was a great idea. And so uh, me, along with that comedian, Timmy Williams, and then uh, Nathan Holt, we got together and we, we found a Snow Jam Comedy Festival. But it's an annual comedy festival that runs three days in January. It's the third weekend of January. But it's ultimately, it's a big fundraising event. So we bring over 30 comedians from across the U.S. and Canada to Sioux Falls to perform at shows and showcases throughout the course of three days. And then the money that we make, the debt proceeds that we make from the event, we donate to local charities. Uh, we're going into our eighth year uh, for this event coming up later this month. And uh, in our since our inception, we've raised over $20,000 for charities in the Sioux Falls community. I love that. And so we're very excited to be doing something so great in the community. You know, we're bringing great entertainment to Sioux Falls, and we're benefiting uh, nonprofits and charities within our community. So we're doing something great for the community. It really is a wonderful thing. And this is one of the things that I, again, I love meeting the people who are coming here because they're paying to come here to help us raise money for something in Sioux Falls, and they get to meet other comedians who are also doing that, so they get to meet some really, really cool people. But the caliber of individuals that you're going to meet through Snow Jam Comedy Festival, top-notch, some of the greatest people I've ever met. They're just some great, great people. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. Great people. And it's always funny because it, it, when they come to Sioux Falls, they don't know what to expect. And one thing that we've heard time and time again throughout the years of doing this festival is that when they get here and they see Sioux Falls and they, they go explore and they do the different things, they just love Sioux Falls. And I've heard comics that have come to the festival say that, you know, they, you know, almost want to move to Sioux Falls because it's such a great city. Oh yeah. And, you know, and the comedy scene within Sioux Falls is so great. You know, there's a lot of great talent that's right there in Sioux Falls. Uh, so it's always great though, to have that, you know, that re in, re in, uh, uh, the word I'm looking for is, uh, <laughs> reinforcement. You're, yeah, you're hearing reinforcement. Just, there yeah. we go. Thank you. No, no, <laughs> it's, for, it, thank you for the assist. <laughs> no, it's happy to help. No, it, it is really cool. To, and, and this is one of the things that's neat. I've talked to comedians who they sent their video to Snow Jam Comedy Festival the last couple of years and they finally made the cut this year because this isn't something where everybody that sends a video gets to go. It, they, they select the best of the best of the best of the best. And I was—I don't remember which comic it was, but he had said it's he had submitted in the past and didn't make the cut. And he's so excited to be here this year. And he said, the word is out about this festival. It is one of the greatest festivals. And he said, you guys just do so many things right. So kudos to you and the other people who plan this thing. This is something you work on year round, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. As soon as we're done with uh, the, this coming festival here at the end of the month, we, we pretty much take a week off. Uh, maybe, maybe, you know, a little more time than that, but we immediately start planning for next year. You're taking um, a week off. Do you remember last year? <laughs> this I'm not even kidding. I was on the board last year. So we get done with the festival. The next morning at, was it 8 a.m.? We, we get together for our first meeting. It's literally the very next morning. Everybody's so tired. You know, some people yep. all wrinkled clothes, didn't even get to take a, a, a full night's sleep. I'm like, why are we having this meeting so early? That's because that's <laughs> our that is our annual breakfast uh, closeout meeting that we do. We've been doing that meeting since the beginning. Uh, and obviously, over the years, we've grown. It was, you know, the first couple of years, it was just Timmy, Nathan, and I. And now we've grown. We're a full 503, uh, 503C uh, one nonprofit. Uh, uh, or a 501 3C nonprofit. There we go. Can't get my words out right, right. this morning. Um, 
but yeah, but we're a full on nonprofit ourselves. And so we have a board of directors and, you know, planning committees and all that. But so we've grown throughout the years. And like I said, that, that breakfast is kind of just our tradition. We call it a meeting, but it's really just our way of like, Hey, we're going to just go have breakfast and kind of hang out and, you know, maybe talk a little bit about the weekend to see what we can do or whatever. But and it's funny that you say, cause it's always so early and that's because everybody, you know, we're trying to get people out of Sioux Falls yeah, and do yeah. all the things. And <laughs> no, it is a great event. So again, kudos to you and all of the people who helped put this event together and, and a huge thank you to all the sponsors who helped sponsor the event. Huge thank you to all the comics who come to Sioux Falls to actually do the event. And again, you guys do some really neat stuff and also thank you to everybody who buys a ticket. And that's what we're going to say right now if you'd like to there's still a few tickets available right oh absolutely and uh one thing that i always recommend for people if you want to come to the entire event your best option is the best value we have vip badges we have vip badges there's two two tiers we have the platinum tier the gold tier uh the the gold tier is 50 dollars. it gets you into all the showcases the platinum tier, it's $75, gets you into every Snow Jam event. It's like the ultimate level of VIP. Uh, so it's a great value because tickets range for all these shows, you know, they're 10 to $25 for all the various shows throughout the weekend. You know, because we have, we have the showcases with the comics that are coming in from all over the country, but we also have headliners coming in. Uh, this year we have Jackie Cation coming in. She's one of our major headliners. She's going to be doing her, her, podcast a live recording of her podcast called the door forest which is going to be great we also have miss shannon coming in she's another fantastic uh headliner from the region well, she's based out of the twin cities uh fantastic comedian uh so yeah so get those badges because that's going to get you access to pretty much everything and we only sell a limited number of those badges because they're you know they're such a such a great commodity for the festival so and get them the, while you can. <laughs> many of these shows sell out, so you you don't want to wait until the very end because then you're going to be sitting outside going, well, sounds like they're having fun in there. Uh, I've actually been the one sitting at the door telling people, sorry, sold out, there's no room for you, and it makes yeah, people sad. <laughs> we want to make people happy, so get your tickets early. Snowjamcomedyfest.com. Dan, thank you again, sir. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you, John. Absolutely. Again, Dan Bublitz Jr., and he's one of the founders of Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Get your tickets now at snowjamcomedyfest.com. Again, it's S-N-O, snowjamcomedyfest.com.